Oh yeah, and you are not bad as me Keep on going till you hit the spot Whoa, I'm a big bag hunter with the bow She got a big bad Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And very good day My name is Muhammad Aslam Masradah Band Relatif And this is my group member Muhammad Amirul Rashid Ben Zahamri Muhammad Amir Fidaus Ben Zulkifli Siti Nur Farid Diana Ben Tisak M Syed Muhammad Hafizuddin Ben Syed Zaki Hussein Our research title is Factors that affect team financial knowledge among students in the UiTM campus Kota Baru First, I will present chapter 1 which is introduction Financial knowledge is a common problem among university students nowadays and many young people learn about money management for the first time in college. However, a lot of students lack the necessary skills to manage their own cash. One of the main causes of college drop-up is financial and frequently as a result of poor personal money management. Some students have no saving since they have depleted their funds and they are reluctant to borrow money from other out of a fear of piling up debt. Next is the background of study. Individual and community with higher level of financial literacy are better equipped to use their existing financial knowledge and skill to take suitable action that involve financial activity and will explicitly display plain and responsible financial behavior. According to Krejcovka, 2015, she claimed that the definition of financial knowledge include the ability to secure personal income, the capability to make decisions on expenditure, and understanding the effect of personal decision on present and future income and also an orientation on the labor market. The problem statement for our research is individuals with good financial knowledge will have better financial management and be able to have less debt and financial problems. People that choose to learn more about finance will have higher knowledge and skills needed for any finance related job in the future. Since there is a talent shortage in the financial service industry in Malaysia, this problem is coming from the lack of financial knowledge among students and fresh graduates. Many students and fresh graduates did not have enough financial knowledge to work properly in the financial services. For example, there are many university students that have very little understanding of finance and only have minimal knowledge of basic concept of finance. According to We and Guy 2022, the recent poll performed by the Asian Institute of Finance in Malaysia, there are over 1,000 young professionals that age between 20 to 33 show over 58% evaluate themselves as having average financial understanding. The data according to FEM well, Malaysian finances attitude are reported to be lower than average among 30 participant countries, including 70 OECD countries and 13 G20 countries. The shortage of talent can be directed at the lack of financial knowledge among Malaysian citizens that can lead to economic downturn, currency depreciation, a decrease in total income, increase in required spending and borrowing costs. Therefore, a study will be conducted to examine the level of financial knowledge among university students at UITM by concentrating on a number of factors such as the student background, financial attitude, financial socialization, and personality traits. Aside from this, there are very little studies that has been conducted on the financial knowledge of university students at UITN Kota Baru and the majority of research only focus on financial issues rather than financial knowledge. 
given the significant of financial knowledge to the economy, the workplace and the individual, and the importance of the research of this topic, there is an eager need to conduct a study on this subject. The research objective of our research is to determine whether a student background affects student financial knowledge, to determine whether financial attitudes affect student financial knowledge, to determine whether financial socialization affects student financial knowledge, and lastly, is to determine whether personality traits affect student financial knowledge. The research question that our research need to answer is Does student background affect student financial knowledge? The second one is Does financial attitude affect student financial knowledge? Does financial socialization affect student financial knowledge? And lastly is Does personality traits affect student financial knowledge? The significance of study to the student is that the purpose of the research is to investigate the four factors that will have an impact on the financial knowledge of your ITN student at your ITN Kota Baru. So the result of the study will allow students to understand and place a higher priority on gaining financial knowledge and being able to work more efficiently in any finance related sector after graduation. For researcher, it will help to further understand the level of financial knowledge among your ITN student and the factor that will influence the student financial knowledge. This research will also be helpful in gaining a deeper understanding of this specific topic. Additionally, it helps researchers improve their writing skill and their ability to think critically. To organization, this research can be of assistance to a wide variety of organizations to gain a better understanding of financial knowledge and the factors that influences it. The information obtained from the study can serve as a foundation for any non-government organization to construct a cost program that is concerned with financial literacy. It could also be used by your ATM Kota Baru to find a solution to the problem of students lacking in financial knowledge. The scope of study. The respondent of the study were students from the business faculty at UITN Kota Baru. The student came from four business programs, which is Islamic Banking, Finance, Marketing and Business Economy. The study focused on financial knowledge on students and to acquire response for the study, a link to a questionnaire was given via the WhatsApp group of this respective program starting from 19th July, sorry, 19th June to 9th July. The limitation of study that we face while making this research is the limitation of time due to the time constraint only 100 students were able to complete the survey which is beside due to time this student only focused on four programs this study only focused on four programs in the ATN Kota Baru and we also reduce the accuracy of this result Next is the low accuracy of finding. The stated finding are less accurate because the number of respondent does not meet the proper requirement due to limited sample size, which is fewer than 10% of the business faculty student at Yatian Kota Baru. As a result, the study conclusion are less accurate. Last is the definition of key terms. Financial knowledge refers to capacity to comprehend and use various financial abilities such as personal financial management, budgeting and investing. 
and according to Fernando J when you are financially literate you have the basis for relation with money that will last a lifetime for student background it's referred to the type of home you come home from as well as the type of education that you have received it may also allude to your social and racial background your financial situation or the sort of professional experience you have financial socialization is described as the process of acquiring and developing values attitude standard norms knowledge and behavior that contribute to financial viability and individual well-being financial attitude can be defined as personal inclination toward financial matters and the capacity to plan ahead and have a saving account that is important and lastly the personality trait describe individual pattern of thought feeling and behaviors personality qualities suggest consistency and stability of someone who score highly on a given trait such as extraversion is likely to be friendly in a variety of contact and through up time that's all from me thank you very much Okay, hi. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is Syed Muhammad Hafizuddin bin Syed Zaki Hussein. So, I will continue with chapter 2 with its uh, literature review. In introduction, uh, this chapter review prior studies relating to the level of financial knowledge and the factors that will influence the student's financial knowledge such as uh, student's uh, background, uh, financial attitude, financial uh, socialization and personality traits. The research publication for the study were obtained from various articles. The current study was able to obtain a research structure that will drive our research based on the research literature. This research project will investigate the level of financial knowledge among UITM students in Kota Baru and the factors that will influence the student financial knowledge. Uh, we go to the financial knowledge. Uh, researchers frequently disagree on the realization of financial knowledge as well as the concept of it in both academic literature and the general media. The word financial knowledge, financial education, and the financial literacy are regularly used uh, interchangeable the notation of financial knowledge of literacy according to Cosina and uh, Monetary 2015 may be summarized as elements of human capital that are applied in financial activities to improve an individual's overall financial health. In addition, NIF uh, 2015 asserted that the definition of financial knowledge encompasses the capacity to make decisions regarding spending, the ability to secure one's own income, and the awareness of how decisions made to deal with affect one's future financial security. Financial knowledge can be measured by a number of factors such as the student's background, financial attitude, financial socialization, and personality traits. In addition, having a solid understanding of finance can help business owners and managers use credit and debt more creatively, manage budget, purchase raw materials on time, produce good and secure, uh, secure, uh, schedule, sorry, control uh, fixed and variable costs and use uh, stock more effectively. So young entrepreneur company, performance has been proven to have a strong link with a combination of internal and external knowledge. This is uh, in Brown and Zia 2011, uh, Abhamas uh, ET 2016 and Su Chua 2013, who research very similar conclusions support these findings. So we go to the financial awareness according to Lu Sardi A 2019 includes being better able to manage emergency costs and prepare for retirement. This is because they are more likely to understand the value of interest compounding and have higher math skill. Content that, uh, in Ida and uh, Duinta 2018 contend that a person who has a solid class of finance will be able to spend money in a way that is uh, acceptable for the situation. A person's capacity to make with decision for oneself is improved by having a better grasp of money, which eventually improves that person's financial stability and general well-being. We go to the independent variables. Uh, the first one is 
study background. Uh, you can group student background according to their gender, educational, entertainment, demography, or family history. This may have an impact on their financial literacy skills. One aspect of a student's upbringing that the uh, statistically higher associated with acad academic achievement have been discovered as gender. The gender and uh, area of study of university student has an effect on their financial literacy. According to Jenner ETAL 2016, numerous aspects of a student's family and home background can be used to predict their level of financial literacy. According to study by uh, Lusardi, uh, Mitchell and Chow 2010, there are several demography and socioeconomic factors that associated with young people's financial literacy. So we go to numerous studies have looked at how parents may affect their kids' development of financial literacy. For instance, uh, Webley and uh, Nihaz 2003 uh, found that uh, parental behavior such as talking to their children about money and attitude, such as be being responsible and planning ahead, have an impact on how their children behave in terms of money. We go to the election between how low income, how honest upbringing, and how they manage their mortgage now. They found that respondents who has received more financial education from their parents were more likely to misload uh, payment and declare bankruptcy than respondents who has received little to no financial education from their parents. Okay, we go to the finance uh, socialization. The term, uh, the term process of acquiring and development values, attitude, standard, norm, knowledge, and behavior that contribute to financial uh, viability and individual well-being. Refer to financial socialization, uh, page uh, 1 to 8, then it's uh, 1984. Young people and teens who are more exposed to financial decision making than their parents should pay particular attention to developing their financial literacy and expertise. So of this financial socialization, agents, family influence, particularly parental influence is the most significant. Fan and uh, Chatterjee 2019, Dance and Har Harberman 2007, the financial knowledge habits and independence that young people acquire through this time may have a significant influence on their life, not just financially and economically, but also in their relationship between uh, with family, friends, and uh, co workers. Okay, next we go to the financial attitude. A person's attitude towards money as it's related to attitude is referred to as their financial attitude. According to Taufik Ami 2017, attitude are component of belief feel, uh, feeling that are appraised as feeling and deliberate action toward other people's things and events. Additionally, significant factor of financial literacy are attitude and financial education. According to research by Soleha 2017, family influence financial attitude and financial knowledge all significantly contribute to financial literacy. Students are responsible for their own funds, have a good attitude towards their money, and have efficient money management skills. According to Meli and Aradia 2018, students at the State University of uh, Semarang Faculty of Economics had a, an average financial attitude in 2015 that demonstrated excellent spending management. Sanchu 2015 discovered that uh, college time student attitude towards money affects their financial behavior and that those with a positive outlook are better able to plan out their monthly bill payments due to their spending plan and manage their future savings. Okay, the last point of independent variable is personality trait. Personality trait are characteristics and qualities that distinguish you from other individuals. They are typically developed during life and could be accurate in number of circumstances. Aspects of personality known as personality traits are characteristics that vary between people are like largely constant across uh, contexts and are responsible stable over time. According to this uh, viewpoint, personality characteristics are viewed as a fundamental inclination of general predisposition that are substantially governed by biological factors. Personality qualities provide uh, crucial information about people, propensity uh, for acting in different situations. Understanding a person's personality uh, trait may help you for, uh, <coughs> see their decision, behavior, and social interaction. It is particularly deep beneficial for team relationship, world setting, and interpersonal interaction. Known want of 
own society qualities happens. Uh, people become more self uh, aware, which help them recognize their strength, weakness, and possibility growth areas. This knowledge may lead to improved self management, improved emotional intelligence, and a greater feeling of personal uh, fulfillment. It is possible to link personality qualities to financial behavior and knowledge. Here are some important conclusions that may be uh, drawn from the number of studies that have looked into the link. Uh, firstly, it constitutes uh, according to uh, Love J.E.V. Uh, 2015, it's created by organization responsible and self-control. Research shows that those who are more considered frequently have some superior money management practice. They have a greater uh, propensity to budget carefully, plan ahead and control their expenditure. Additionally, it is a state in paper of uh, Panham. Panham uh, Chamoto Play Music 2000 uh, C that have uh, been offered to new expenses demonstrate one creatively uh, uh, curiosity and openness to new ideas. Some studies suggest that those with high openness uh, score are more inclined to take financial risks such as investing in new or unique company ventures. Last but not least, it has been said by uh, uh, Lon uh, Vitz uh, J.E. Verkasalo uh, Widget PC 2015 that being pleasant required being empathetic, com uh, cooperative and kind. However, some study indicate that because the their property for uh, trustworthiness person who are especially pleasant by be more susceptible to being taken advantage of financially or subjected to physiological manipulation by others. Okay, we go to the next point which is conceptual framework. Uh, the association between financial knowledge and four factors, the student background, financial attitude, financial sources relation, and percentage trade. It's the conceptual framework of the study which is based on the literature review. In this figure, present the conceptual foundation for the study. In this uh, literature review, we can manipulate uh, the hypothesis development. So, the hypothesis development of the research is first one is has shown student background does not affect student financial knowledge, and H1 is student background does affect student financial knowledge. The next is a uh, HO for this. Uh, the second point is financial attitude does not affect student financial knowledge. Second, H1 is financial attitude does affect student financial knowledge. The third point is HO for this is financial social relation does not affect student financial knowledge. And H1 is financial social relation affect student financial knowledge. And the last point is HO is personality trait does not affect student financial knowledge. And H1 is personality trait affects student financial knowledge. Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Muhammad Amir Rashid bin Samhari from BA2495A. So for this video, I will present about the chapter 3 which is Research Methodology. So, for the introduction, this chapter discuss the research design, target population, sampling technique, sampling size, unit of analysis, data collection procedure, instrument and data analysis that will be used when conducting this research. The research instrument will consist of six uh, section, which is uh, section A, B, C, D, E, and F. The data analysis will have four, four type of analysis. So next, research design. This research use casual research design to evaluate the level of financial literacy and to survey whether the student background financial attitudes, financial socialization, and personality traits affected the student's financial knowledge. This uh, study was carried out uh, by sending the survey link to UITM uh, Kotobaru students via WhatsApp. Next, target population. This research was conducted to discuss the financial knowledge among business faculty students in UITM Kotobaru. Therefore, the student targeted the population from students of the business faculty in UITM Kotobaru. This population included students of four business programs in UITM Kotobaru, namely Islamic Banking, Finance, Marketing and Business Economic. Next, Sampling Technique. Since the list of names of UITM students cannot be obtained due to its 
be uh, private and confidential. No sampling frame was available in this uh, research. Uh, therefore, in order to study financial knowledge, this research will be using non-probability sampling technique in order to choose a specific group uh, that is related to finance. The type of non-probability uh, technique that will be used in this research is convenience sampling, where the data will be collected from business faculty students to provide the data. The questionnaire for the research uh, will be given to the student of business faculty in UITM Kota Baru via WhatsApp group of Islamic banking, marketing, economy, and finance to study. Okay, next, uh, we go to the sample size. The sample size for this uh, study was set at 100 students from the business faculty at UITM Kota Baru. The student came from four different business program at UITM Kota Baru, which is uh, Islamic banking, uh, finance, uh, marketing, and business economy. As a result, 25 respondents from each uh, program were gathered. Okay, so next, uh, unit of analysis. The undergraduate student who are pursuing uh, their degree for business programs offered by UITM Kota Baru serve as the unit of analysis for this study. Each owner's response uh, was uh, classified as a separate data source uh, uh, in this uh, study since it was used to examine examine uh, the data that were obtained from each participant. Okay, next, uh, data collection procedure. In this study, uh, primary data will be utilized. Uh, data for this uh, study will be collected from UITM Kota Baru Business Faculty student. The questionnaire uh, which will distribute via a WhatsApp group to participant in the four uh, respective business program at UITM Kota Baru, which is uh, is a banking, finance, marketing, and uh, business economic, were answered by the respondent uh, through a Google form. A total of a hundred respondents will be gathered. Okay, next, uh, the we go to the instrument. Okay, for this uh, section A about the demographic profile. This uh, session consists of uh, four questions regarding respondents' information on name, gender, uh, student number ID, uh, and programs. All of uh, the questions were required to be answered by every respondent. This uh, session used nominal scale as a type of scale uh, for answering each uh, question. For example, for gender, uh, male and female. Okay, next uh, for section B, financial knowledge. Uh, for the uh, example question, we choose how do you evaluate your knowledge uh, regarding stock, and how do you evaluate your knowledge regarding pension uh, funds. So uh, for the section C, which is a student background, the example uh, question, we ask uh, how. How uh, sure do you feel about uh, your ability to manage your own finance and how interested are you in increasing your financial knowledge? Okay, for section D, which is a financial socialization. Okay, the question is, uh, I prefer to have a business class seat and accommodation for a long trip and I have a habit of buying souvenirs on vacation. Okay, for the section E about the financial attitude. So, uh, an example of the question, I am more of a saver than a spender and I am very organized when it comes to manage my money day to day. So, uh, that's all from me. I pass to the another presenter. Thank you. Section F, personality trait. The question is, I always read the terms and conditions on use of financial products and services. The second question is, I always look for ways to save money. Data analysis. There are four types of analysis we will be used to analyze all of the data collected for this study. 
which are descriptive analysis, reliability analysis, correlation analysis, and hypothesis testing. SPSS software will be used to run all of the analysis. Descriptive analysis. This study will be investigated using descriptive analysis. The financial knowledge among business students at UITM Kota Baru was assessed using a 5-point scale. The higher the score, the greater the pro proclivity for financial knowledge among these students. The level of financial knowledge among business faculty students at UITM Kota Baru was calculated using a scale of 0 to 100 and was divided into 4 addition ranges. 0 to 30 is normal, 31 to 49 is mild, 50 to 79 is moderate, and 80 to 100 is severe. Reliability Analysis In this research, reliability analysis will be carried out to determine the applicability of the measurements for both independent and de dependent variables. As a result, the reliability coefficient for Cronbach's Alpha was used in this analysis using SPSS software to assess the level of association between the questionnaires, items, and the variables studied. The analysis value will range from 0 to 1, and the value that is closest to 1 will show a significant relationship between the measurements of the variables. Correlation analysis will be used in analyzing the direction of relationship between financial knowledge and its four independent variables among business faculty students in UITM Kota Baru. The correlation between all of these variables was calculated in the total of all respondents participating. In addition to that, the studies will evaluate the signal of multi between financial knowledge and four independent variables. As a result, the person correlation coefficient will be utilized so that the duration of the of the association between these variables and the signal of multicoinality could be determined. For the hypothesis, the results of hypothesis testing will show whether or not the study's null hypothesis is accepted. Regression analysis will be employed in hypothesis testing. This investigation will be able to uncertain how the business faculty at UITM Kota Baru relate to financial knowledge and its four other variables. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Mam Amir Fidaus bin Skifli, and today I want to discuss about chapter 4. This chapter discuss the data discovery and analysis performance in order to meet the studies for objective. The data was analyzed using the statistical package for social science version 27, SPSS 27. The accurate uh, de data was analyzed using four techniques which are reliability analysis, descriptive analysis, correlation analysis, and regression analysis. Okay, for the first is socio-demographic profile respondents. Table shows that 40 out of 100 respondents, which is 40% are male, while another 16 out of 100 respondents, which is 60% are female. Moreover, in the table also shows uh, that 43 respondents or 43% of the sample are shown to have taken part in program BA249 demographic profile. Next, 21 participants or 21% of respondents uh, overall were in program BA240. However, 19 participants or 19% of the sample population participated in program BA242. Finally, 17 response from program BA250 made up 70% of the sample as a word. Next, descriptive analysis. The use of descriptive statistics such as means, standard deviations, mode and medians allows for an analysis of the total range of response for each construct. This descriptive analysis has emerged uh, as a one of the key measuring tools in the majority of today's research and reveals the broad trends in the data set. In accordance with our earlier research, a mean score that has uh, equal to or more than 4 indicate a high level of agreement with a specific criteria. When the mean value is equal to or less than 2, the agreement is seen as being low. 
uh, and when the mean value is greater than 3, it is regarded as being moderate. The mean value for this research study often has a high level of agreement. The analysis conclusion shows that the dependent 100 variable financial knowledge had the greatest mean value, which is 4.088. The student's background uh, has the greatest means uh, of the independent variable, which is 4.312, followed by personal uh, personal qualities, which is uh, have mean of 4.323, sorry, 4.232, and one more financial attitude, which is has mean of 4.106. According to the table as shown uh, in this slide, however, uh, financial socialization has the lowest mean, which is 4.014. And the dependent variable in these studies with the biggest standard deviation, 0.844 is financial knowledge. Last but not least, students' background as an independent variable has the lowest standard deviation, which is 0.667, and financial socializ socialization as an independent variable has the highest, which is 0.9. Sorry, zero point nine set six zero. Okay, next is reliability analysis. A reliability analysis was carried out on the financial knowledge, student background, financial socialization, financial attitude, and personality traits that comprise of five items each. Based on this table, Kronbach Alpha show the questionnaires for every variables to reach acceptance reliability which are all above 0 0.8. This means that the reliability of measurement of every variable is very good. Most items appear to be worth, worthy of retention, resulting in a decrease in the alpha if deleted. However, there are exceptions to this in item 5 of financial knowledge, which would slightly increase the alpha to uh, 0 0.9 to 4 and item 5 of financial attitude which would increase the alpha to 0 0.907 hence uh, removal of this item should be considered all, all other items appear to be worthy of retention where if deleted it will result in a decrease in the alpha thus no other removal of items should be considered okay for the next one is correlation statistic between variable the table shows demonstrates the present correlation between financial knowledge student background financial socialization financial attitude and personality traits the present correlation between financial knowledge and students background is 0.6 Eight, in addition, the percent correlation between financial knowledge and financial socialization is 0 0.722. The percent correlation between financial knowledge and financial attitude is 0 0.673. Besides, the percent correlation between financial knowledge and personal traits is 0 0.710. This variable signify that there is a linear relationship between financial knowledge and the variables and increase in financial knowledge may increase students backgrounds fan, student backgrounds financial socialization financial attitude and personality traits among the students of business faculty in UITM Kota Baru the next one is regression analysis. The table presents uh, the multiple linear regression analysis for the research. The R square of this research model is 0 0.662. This means that 60.2% 60 of financial knowledge is explained by the independent variable student's background, financial socialization, financial attitude, and personality traits. 
there are another 33.8% unexplained variants by independent variable which can explore for future study. Okay, next is ANOVA. According to the result of ANOVA in this table, it can be interpreted as the research model stating that the F value of 46.553 is significant at a level of less than 0 0.05. That means P equals 0 0.001 less than 0 0.05. Thus, hypothesis testing for this research can be further continued. Okay, for the summary of coefficient, the table shows students' background has significant relationship on financial knowledge, which is beta equal 0 0.307, uh, and the p less than 0 0.05. Therefore, the null hypothesis is rejected. Okay, for the second one is financial socialization interaction has significant relationship on uh, financial knowledge uh, which is uh, the beta is 0 0.296 and the p less than 0 0.05 therefore the null hypothesis is rejected okay for the third one is financial attitude interaction uh, has an insignificant relationship uh, on financial knowledge uh, which is uh, the beta is 0 0.111 uh, and the p more than 0 0.05 therefore the null hypothesis is accepted okay for the next one is uh, personality traits interaction has an significant uh, relationship between uh, financial knowledge uh, which is uh, beta is 0 0.2 sorry 0 0.258 and the p less than 0 0.05 therefore the null hypothesis is rejected okay that's all for this chapter we move to the chapter 5 in conclusion, the objectives of this study have been successfully fulfilled via two methods which are descriptive analysis and regression analysis. The ITM Kota Baru has determined that all of the study's conclusions are vital for considerations and further actions. Based on the results of the study, it shows that the student background, financial socialization and facility traits does affect the students of the business faculty in UATM Kota Baru financial knowledge. Besides, financial institutes does not affect the student's financial knowledge. Thus, it means that the student background, financial socialization and facility traits have significant relationships on financial knowledge, whereas the financial attitude have insignificant. It means that the student background, financial socialization and personality traits can influence students' financial knowledge directly. There are a few recommendations that can be taken. The first one is, UITM Kota Baru can encourage the students to start reading financial materials. The student can browse or purchase a variety of books about money management, and but not everyone may benefit from reading them cover to cover. The student should think about a smaller medium if the student doesn't read a chapter often or believe you don't have the time. The student should know that learning how to handle their money wisely should be a top concern. The second recommendation is the students of UITM Kota Baru can refocus on social media. Reading or listening to brief explanation of financial ideas on social media platform is another approach to improve students' financial knowledge. The student will receive by size financial like credit card or college savings in their feed, allowing them to gradually pick up new ideas and strategies over time. The best part is that when the students have read educational accounts, they won't, they won't need to look for this information anymore because it will come to them. The third recommendation is UATM Kota Baru can design a program for the students. From the program, the students will get to learn how to budget correctly. When the students has a strategy for their finance, they can spend their money wisely and can save any access for an emergency letter. So if they have knowledge about finance, 
they will know how important it is to manage their money.